Hello and welcome. I have been doing Simply Nitin, my weekly chat show with my viewers on Strat News Global for almost three months, ever since we began this digital platform. Many readers and uh, viewers have uh, sent me suggestions and queries saying, why don't you take up uh, some of the uh, queries that we have and answer them in a simple manner. Respecting their sentiment, I have decided to take up one topic every week from the suggestions and the queries that come my way uh, on my various social media platforms and uh, emails. This week I take you back almost 45 years into history. Why do I say almost 45 years? Because the event that I am going to speak about occurred on 15th August 1975. On that fateful day, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman in many ways, the founder and father of modern Bangladesh was assassinated by a group of serving and dismissed Bangladeshi army personnel and officers who wanted him removed from the highest post in Bangladesh because they felt that he was taking the country down the drain after a glorious liberation struggle which happened in 1971 and Bangladesh was created on 16th December 1971. Why do I choose this topic to speak to you uh, this week? It's because one Captain Abdul Majid, who was then a captain in 1975 in the Bangladesh Army, has been caught by the Bangladesh counter-terrorism forces in uh, Dhaka or uh, off Dhaka in the Mirpur cantonment after almost 45 years. Many other conspirators uh, including uh, one of the key uh, conspirators and key killers Major Abdul Rashid uh, is still at large uh, but Abdul Majid who apparently was staying in uh, Kolkata in India in West Bengal for almost uh, 24 years since 1996 under different assumed identities was uh, mysteriously arrested by the Bangladesh police in Mirpur near Dhaka. So what's the reality? From my sources and my friends uh, in uh, Bangladesh as well as uh, in, uh, in the Indian establishment, I have pieced together a kind of sequence of events that have happened over the past 7-8 months. Abdul Majid who had fled Bangladesh uh, along with other co-conspirators and had been appointed to the diplomatic service and uh, became uh, part of the diplomatic service of Bangladesh and was posted in the embassy of Senegal for a number of years. Then he came back to Bangladesh, General Zia Rahman's time and also served in the government in various capacities. But in 1996, when Sheikh Mujibur Rahman's one of the two surviving daughters, Sheikh Hasina, uh, who became Prime Minister for the first time in 1996 came to power, all the conspirators and their friends and collaborators actually fled Bangladesh again. But it's the tribute to the relentless uh, pursuit of justice and pursuit of all the uh, assassins and the co-conspirators of that uh, conspiracy uh, were hunted down or arrested or extradited by the Bangladesh government under Sheikh Hasina uh, in the past 24 years. Abdul Majid uh, somehow evaded arrest uh, in various uh, ways by staying and changing residences in India. But trust Indian intelligence agencies, especially the RNAW, the research and analysis wing and their counterpart in Bangladesh for their uh, relentless pursuit of these killers. So Abdul Majid was traced and tracked down to uh, a suburb near Calcutta about 7-8 months ago and uh, quietly uh, watched for almost 4-5 uh, to five months by uh, Indian operatives. Uh, I won't tell you the name of which agency this, uh, these operatives belong to but the fact is that he was tracked for 5-6 uh, to six months and then picked up quietly uh, one day after everything was confirmed and handed over to the Bangladesh authorities who will of course on record not really uh, accept or admit that he was handed over by the Indian authorities for various reasons. 
The fact is, Abdul Majid has finally been arrested and he is likely to be hanged, according to the Bangladesh Home Minister who spoke to my colleague Parul Chandra. You can uh, visit Strat News Global website. There is a story on Abdul Majid and how uh, Bangladeshis, especially Awami League supporters, are looking forward to him being executed. Now, why am I telling you all this? I'm telling you all this because uh, the 50th anniversary of the 71 Liberation War of Bangladesh is not too far away. It's exactly uh, in uh, December 2021 uh, when uh, the history will be revisited. And uh, of course, the downward slide in the minds and eyes of some of the Bangladeshis that Sheikh Mujibur Rahman took after becoming uh, undisputed leader of Bangladesh in early 72, early 1972. That prompted this group of young majors in the Bangladesh army to launch a conspiracy and then remove him by killing him. Not only Sheikh Mujib was killed, but a bulk of his immediate family, including his nephew Fazlul Haq Moni and uh, his uh, brother-in-law uh, were uh, killed. Uh, only two, two of his daughters who were abroad for some reason uh, were spared uh, the killing. And of course, one of them, Sheikh Hasina, as we know, is one of the longest serving prime ministers of Bangladesh now. She has been a friend of India. She has helped India track down many militant and terrorist leaders hiding in Bangladesh uh, since 2000-2005. Uh, and she has helped uh, track down and arrest uh, leaders of the United Liberation Front of Assam, uh, the uh, UNLF, the United Nationalist Liberation Front of Manipur, and uh, Ranjan Dayamari, who was the leader of the NDFB, the National Democratic Front of Bodoland. So many uh, northeastern terrorist and uh, insurgent organizations had to uh, roll up their uh, operations and uh, hideouts in Bangladesh thanks to Sheikh Hasina. And as a result, India has reciprocated and uh, as a goodwill gesture to Sheikh Hasina who has been, as I said, relentless in pursuit of uh, justice against or justice for her father. Uh, has finally been given uh, the one of the conspirators, Captain Abdul Majid, on the platter by the Indian agencies. When will he be hanged? We do not know. But if you want to know more about uh, the conspiracies and the coups and the counter coups that happened uh, in Bangladesh in the first decade of its existence from 1971 to 1981, where um, General Ziaur Rahman was also assassinated uh, in Chittagong, and of course, as I mentioned on 15th August, Sheikh Mujib was uh, killed in his uh, personal residence at Dhanmondi in Dhaka. You need to read this book uh, by Anthony Mascarenhas. Uh, it's called Bangladesh, A Legacy of Blood. There are of course various other accounts uh, which are there, but this is one of the most detailed and gruesome accounts of what exactly happened, what went through the minds of the killers and why did they coming from the elite section of the Bangladesh society of, of that time, decided to remove Sheikh Mujib, who was an undisputed leader at that point in time, as was on cloud nine, uh, because uh, he had won the liberation for the Bangladeshis, for the Bengalis of East Pakistan, and had created uh, Bangladesh with the help of the Indian army and the Indian government of that time, led by Mrs. Indira Gandhi. In fact, my uh, other book, RN Kao, Gentleman Spy Master, also has a small mention of this assassination uh, attempt or assassination of Sheikh Mujib. Uh, RN Kao, who was then the chief of uh, the research and analysis wing, had forewarned uh, Mujibur Rahman that there was a conspiracy being hatched against him and his life was in danger. And yet, Sheikh Mujib just dismissed his suggestion or his input and paid with his life when these majors uh, took matters in their hand and eliminated almost his entire family. But justice is being seen to be done with arrest of Abdul Majid and of course earlier execution of uh, a couple of uh, co-conspirators and couple of assassins by the Bangladesh government in the past uh, decade or so. That's the fascinating story that is there. There is much more to it. Please go and read uh, the literature available. But I thought I will take up uh, such suggestions from my uh, readers and viewers. And if you have more suggestions from next week onwards, please write to us on stratnewsglobal at gmail.com. You will of course see uh, the exact gmail uh, on the screen uh, very shortly. And uh, don't forget to like us on various social media platforms. And of course, 
keep sending feedback keep it coming i will take uh, some of the suggestions or one of the suggestions every week and come back to you and simplify some of the complicated events matters and developments that happen across the globe until then goodbye and good luck stay home stay safe i am nitin gokhale